think I found my place of Zen after a long night behind the bar. Welcome to the Japanese Garden of Peace. You'd think you'd have to travel all the way to Japan to experience a place that's so meticulously curated and beautiful, but nope. It's right here in my backyard, Texas Hill Country. That's right. Welcome to Fredericksburg, Texas. Founded in 1846 by German immigrants, the population of Fredericksburg is still just over 11,000, but it's an incredibly popular tourist destination, and that is because of the booze industry. And that's my jam, y'all. I've served thousands, if not millions of drinks from behind dozens of bars over the past decade plus as a bartender. Now, I'm heading out across the country and the world to learn about communities that, like me, have been shaped by a love of all things alcohol. I'm Tommy the Bartender, and this is Small Town Spirit. We've got a lot to see here in Fredericksburg. Up first is a spot that may seem out of place in most small towns, but I think this one fits like a glove. Sitting on 120 acres is a castle with three stories worth of restaurant space, a full service kitchen, indoor and outdoor ballrooms and event spaces, multiple tap rooms, a downstairs speakeasy with a vast collection of wines, and a giant barn turned museum dedicated to all things tractor. And it's all attached, of course, to a state-of-the-art brewery. Welcome to Allstat Brewery, y'all. It's an impressive place, all right, and it's built around the uniquely authentic German beer they brew here. Will fell in love with German beer in Germany. So the only logical thing any person would do is just build their own brewery <laughs> and make the beer that they wanted. Absolutely. Brewmaster Craig Rowan took me behind the scenes to give me the details and taught me a brand new word in the process. The main thing that makes us a German brewery is we're guided by the old brewing law known as the Rheinheimskippel. Known as the what? Rheinheimskippel. Okay. You've never heard? No. <laughs> Ahem. The Rheinheimskippel is a German food law from 1516 that states that beer must consist only of barley, water, hops, and yeast. It's one of the oldest food laws to still be in effect today. And Craig says they follow that law at Allstat to a T. The yeast, the barley, and the hops, we all get from Germany. The only thing we don't import from Germany is the water, because we don't want the beer to be a thousand bucks a bottle, right? Yeah, yeah. So what we will do is we'll send the water from Fredericksburg through our reverse osmosis system, and get pure alkaline water, and then we'll add the minerals back into the water to match what region of Germany the beer style we're brewing on that day comes from. Talk about authentic, y'all. Maybe that's why Craig says they already feel right at home, even though the place just opened up in Fredericksburg a few years ago. What I've heard was, well, you're not a real Fredericksburgian until you've been here three generations, but ah. you guys have come <laughs> in here. You guys have been hooked, you know what I mean? Overwhelmingly, the feedback has been so super positive. And again, from German speakers, yeah. and people from Germany, they're like, this is what it tastes like in Cologne. This is what Dusseldorf Alt tastes like. That's the highest praise, even more than the awards we've won. That's what I like to hear the most. Oh, is that's yeah. Yeah. is we want to make true, genuine German beer right here in Texas so it doesn't have to ship from across the Atlantic. And they brew a lot of it, y'all. Enough that you can find cans like this all across the great state of Texas all bearing a name that reflects where they came from. Altstadt directly translates to Old Town, and I feel like we fit into the culture of the town mm -hmm. really, really well. You know, it's a German town in Texas. This is German beer brewed in Texas. Mm -hmm. It just fits. You guys picked the perfect spot for this place. I agree. I have one last question for you. Sure. Any uh, super secret stuff in the works that you're working on? I promise I'm, I'm not going to tell anybody. I'm not going to tell anybody. Uh, yes. Care to elaborate? No. Enough said, guys. He's going to tell me later, so I'm not going to tell anybody. What I can tell you and show you is a lot more about Fredericksburg. From a Vegas-inspired karaoke spot to an antique store turned mixology bar to a pig that'll sell you mead. And if you know anything about this place, you know we're going to drink some wine. Lots and lots of wine. So stick around and learn more about Fredericksburg's small town spirit.